Outside of that, let's just win the thing. Hey, uh, how about the track conditions? We had a lot of... Yeah, 22 is closer. Joey Logano getting the run on Regan Smith. Here comes Casey Kane in the five. Ryan Sieg in that 39 car up through the middle. Jeremy Clements into the picture. All going on behind Regan Smith. Can he hang on? Will the fuel last to the finish line? Here they come to the checkers. He restarted seventh for the green white checker by 20 thousandths of a second. I believe that's Ryan Sieg that's pushing him across the line there. What a great job he did. He yep. ran great here back in favor. I believe finished ninth. Yep. I don't even think Casey Kane knew who it was that was pushing <laughs> him. But, but Sieg did such a good job. I mean, that was just incredible how they did that. What a job by young Ryan C. Finished second at Daytona in his second try here in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. The 27-year-old from Tucker, Georgia. He's going to have a chance for the dash for cash, $100,000 next week. Yeah, she gets a little bump to Casey Kane right there. Kyle Larson was trying to, to make a run. I thought he lost too much momentum right there. Yes. Regan Smith was just too far out there, had nothing going on, and nobody helping him whatsoever. Here, Ryan Reed doing a great job there. I believe to finish fourth in this race. Wow. Just unbelievable. That's just where you, you're going where they're not, and you're fortunate to have somebody pushing you. Casey Kane got himself in a position with a great move down the back straightaway. Well, if you're going to drive a race, with our helmet Chevrolet, but at the end, had a huge push from 39 uh, Sieg and just felt really good. The car had speed on that. I was more the line, I was unsure. And then the last push, the last time uh, Ryan hit me, you know, it really boosted me past the seven. So I, I felt good about it at that point. But now, top four finishing championship eligible drivers in this race tonight that get the race for that hundred thousand dollar bonus next week at New Hampshire. Look at that group. How cool is that? Yeah, Jeremy Clemens. It's a chance to run for 100,000. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, they did a fantastic job. Yeah. yeah. Highest finishing of those four drivers next Saturday at New Hampshire Motor Speedway gets that $100,000 cash. Doc, thanks. Sadler winds up finishing in 21st position. Take a look at how they did come to the checkered flag because it sure changed a lot in that last lap. It sure did. And how they didn't crash, I don't know, just a testament of how good these drivers are. How about Darrell Wallace, Jr.? He, he gets in a crash, gets the car fixed, and Jeremy Clement with a great finish, and Mike Wallace, top 10.